You do what you do. It's cool. There's a guy named Asian Hitler, man. <laughs> Is he here? Um, probably not. I don't think I've, I don't think he's been playing in a long time. So. Frank versus CCG Air. I think uh, Air, I don't know how he did. He was just playing his KOF pool. Go yeah, I don't know. Him. I know he's been taking that game pretty seriously, though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, not a good range to jump from. Oh, sick. I like the evasion in the air. Yeah. It's against Sakura's. Air. Mm. One of Sakura's biggest. Okay. Can't even say anything. So many things. I know, yeah. Well, okay, now here's a great situation for Frank coming up. Oh, but he doesn't. I think he was trying to go low there, but it was just too close to the throw range. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, like if, if you want to do an empty jump into a low, you either have to do it early so that they can't throw you in time or, like, not be in range for their throw because 100% of everybody wakes up with throw in this game. Yeah, just a lot of really good solid stuff from air here. James, uh, James earlier was talking about, you know, if you want to go for frame traps and you got to get information in the first round, yeah. you kind of have to just, like, do block strings and just wait a long time. And that's what Air's been doing. Like, he's been waiting and he sees that uh, Anti Frank isn't doing anything. He's just walking up and throw after a combo or you right. know, a drop combo. So he's just, like, getting all the information he can before, you know, Sakura starts any of her uh, mix-up. So Air is no longer... Being very sure you happy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, drop. Wow, all right. That's really unfortunate <laughs> right yeah. there. That could have gone big. And yeah, great job by Air. He waited this time to get her on the other side. Jump back roundhouse. Yeah. Just get some space. There it is. Yeah. So, like, characters such as, like, Ken and Sakura, or any character that can change their air trajectory in the air, it just like really messes up three frame Shoto DPs. It just goes, you know, you're so used to, oh, they're in the air, they're coming right at me, I'm gonna anti air them. But boom, all of a sudden they toss you right over you. See here, Aaron Frank here is uh, abusing Jump Fierce, stopping a lot of uh, airs anti airs. It's pretty beefy normal. Yep. Ooh. She's got a couple of those, man. Great jump ins. Uh, very smart. He just convinced Air that he was only interested in playing the footsie game, which is definitely not what he wants to do. Ooh. Big risk there. But Air took the bait and threw another fireball and then ended up losing for it. Yeah. So it looks like he's going to go back to this style. Much less Air heavy than in, in the first game. Yeah. And I've definitely noticed when Air plays, like he quickly adapts. Oh what, yeah. What the other, uh, you know, the playstyle? He's a really smart player. Yeah. Got a lot of respect for him. I was noticing when he was playing KOF, like he doesn't know the matchup, but he definitely knows, like, okay, they have certain habits. I'll just pick up on that. Right. Yeah. Pushes his opponent away, but he's still caught in the corner. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Each time she had done meaties. I mean, she hadn't been blocked at all. She had not been respecting that. And it's kind of a risk to take because at this point he's in death territory, but he was worth it. Whoa. I guess it worked. Going to the crouching fierce now pretty consistently so that he doesn't have to deal with the whiff DP. Yeah. Yeah, taking control. Oh. Oh, so nice. He had meter anyway. And airs at match point. Yeah. Frank really trying to find something to do. A little bit late on that. Yeah, he's just making space. Like, you know, he knows that and uh, and I Frank will, will jump out of that range. So if he jumps back and tries to toss him, he still DPs him. Yeah, Air looks way more comfortable right now than he did at the start of this set. Yeah. Oh, so good. Uh, well, okay. A little late or early. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them really, really trying to take control of that situation. Oh, so nice. That's punished. And Air building some meter and also setting up perfect fireball timing. I like that. Ooh. And he is going to take it. Match yeah. point. Sneaks in that overhead. 
<laughs> He's bouncing around. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, if you guys don't know, like, uh, if you, I think you can see the ring. Uh, yeah, I like a little bit. Yeah. The ring that Jabali got for the for CEO, it's a real ring. It is a real wrestling ring, yeah. So, like, it's it has padding on it. it has it's bouncy. It has the turnbuckles. It has the that, like, foam cushion foam on yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. I hey, did, did, you, did you do the thing where you, like, throw your back against uh, the ropes and, like, see if it bounces you around? I was tempted it to. It does, right? It, it works. It works? It works. I was tempted to, but there's so much, like, expensive equipment on the stage, on yeah. the, oh, on the, in the ring. I don't want to break uh, Spooky's brand new.